Listen to me now. What an exciting week it has been. Because, of course, there was a plot to poison the Queen by lacing her chicken with cyanide. And she'd probably have eaten it, because after all those years with Philip, she's used to tasting dodgy cock. <laughs> It's uphill from here, all right. <laughs> it's all just so tasteless. <laughs> That's right, everyone on their feet, please. Aha! Oh, very perky over there. Ooh. Oh, he's young, he's the use of his limbs. Okay, uh, stay standing, stay standing. If you've ever done something unpleasant to food and then served it up. <laughs> have been everyone for a second. Oh God! Uh, I'll go to I'll go to man with white spiky hair. I'll go in here now. Hello, sir. What's your name? James. James. This is James. Everybody. Uh, and James, what what did you do to the food? Um, I put a bogey in a piece of fruit cake. <laughs> <laughs> and who who got to eat the fruit cake? Oh, uh, I don't know. I was working in a cafe at the time. <laughs> That's nice, and yet vile. <laughs> Now, this woman down the end looks too posh and clean to have done anything disgusting. <laughs> so I'm just going to I'm just going to go to her. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. What's your name? Joe. Joe. You see? <laughs> you can't imagine it, can you? Oh, Joe's whole house could be covered in cling film, couldn't it? <laughs> So, Joe, what was this uh, aberration of disgustingness? When I was about 15, I didn't have a Christmas present from my gran, so I made some biscuits, and I put all the mixture in, and it all went wrong, and I got so cross that I picked it all up and I threw it at the wall, and it all stuck to the wall, and then I had to get a knife and scrape it all off and put it back in a bowl and then make it into biscuits, but I cooked it and I gave it to my gran and she ate them. <laughs> and she's dead now, isn't she? <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone up again, everyone up again. <laughs> OK. Uh, stay standing. If you've ever lost control of your body at, at the wrong moment. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Not too many for this. Uh, let's go to this lady. Hello, what's Hello. your name? Karen. Karen. And when did your body let you down? <laughs> um, seven years ago, I did a parachute jump for charity. And I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you might as well finish it. Go on. <laughs> and I was so scared when I jumped out of the plane. Um, <laughs> I just sort of messed my knickers. What, what's mess? Is mess front mess or mess? <laughs> At least it was probably a nice soft landing, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and has that ever happened to you again since? No. No, no never. No. Are you no. sure? Only <laughs> 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 oh, joking, you fragrant woman. Uh, down to you. What's your name? Athena. Athena? Yeah. And what, what happened to, to you in the, the loss of control? Um, well, we'd sort of gone out for a drinking session and we were walking home and I was really desperate to go to the toilet mm -hmm. and um, there wasn't anywhere I could go because we were walking home along a long road and I thought I saw a dark shop opening and um, sort of went into the shop opening about to pull my trousers down and I saw two people walking out of the cinema. And that's <laughs> what I well, you were pissing in a foyer. <laughs> But it, it was just very dark. <laughs> think about it. Oh, it's a movie critic. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't think much of that, did she? <laughs> the thing is, now we know why they always smell of piss. <laughs> it's her! It's her! Well done to all the tasteless people. Very good. Oh. For me. <laughs> what does the card say? Oh, thank you for being a friend. Oh. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. It can only be one person. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, the most golden girl of all, B. Arthur! Thank you for being a friend. Yeah.
as quick as I could. Where are your shoes? Oh, no, they're in makeup. I was afraid of walking down the stairs. Oh, fair with enough. Thongs. This is very casual. So she said, take them off. Yeah. I thought, Fine. Are you familiar with the work of Sandy Shaw? <laughs> Sit yourself there. Thank you. You, you casual creature. Yeah, no. You look fantastic. Thank you, my darling. No, because you described this like you were going to be in a clown's outfit. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I've, I've been told the show is very tasteless. <laughs> so I thought... <laughs> I say that lovingly. <laughs> It's just so weird, because I loved the Golden Girls so much, it was just yes, so weird yes. that you're here and right there. <laughs> and is it true that Estelle Getty, who played your mother, that she was younger than you? I... maybe a couple of months, yeah. The th Betty and Estelle and I are about the same age. Rue is about ten years younger. And I found this, this picture, and it is sort of... oh, there's one of Estelle, um, being your mother. Oh, God. Oh, but now, <laughs> is this... is this Estelle? Is that Estelle at the end? Yes, let me see that. No, isn't it, isn't it mad? Where the hell? Wh they, no. Why are they giving you a hubcap as a prize? <laughs> what is that? I, oh, they're all female impersonators. No. Are they really not you? Well, I don't know. Let me Actually, see Actually, it, it doesn't look very like you. That's not me. <laughs> no, wait. No, it is me. It is us. <laughs> That's us. No, truly. But I warned you, I warned you, when I arrived, I would, you know, the long trip and everything, and uh, <laughs> Cram very lovingly took us out to dinner. I said, I know I look, I look terrible, but let me get a good night's sleep and I'll end up looking exactly like Danny LaRue. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you find that? I don't know. I have no idea. Would but... you destroy it? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> it's gone, gone. History, 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 history. Thank you. It never ends. We do, in this country, know you best for the Golden Girls. Yes. And the, the four of you just living in that house yes. for, for years and years. Yes. I mean, that must have been, as an actress, that must have been a very sort of unusual experience for four women oh, on I don't age. think it's possible. I think it's completely impossible for four women to live together. <laughs> I think it's impossible for two women to live together. I mean, even with those great scripts, I don't think it would happen, you know. That was what was so lovely about it was that there were all these middle-aged ladies who, I mean, beautifully groomed, having sex lives, having, you know, I mean, it, they, were, they were not just people relegated to uh, wheelchairs or, you know, it was, it was quite a... That in, that in itself was a departure. And now, you did t tell me a joke the other night. I'd love you to tell it again. The Estelle Getty joke. You want me to tell that joke? Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't tell Estelle. <laughs> Why is walking a high wire like getting oral sex from Estelle Getty? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever happens, don't look down. <laughs> You're naughty. You are naughty. You are very naughty. What? Oh, that tickled our own golden girl there. That's, that's our Betty. There in the front row. Mm. Look at I her. must say, you Brits. <laughs> <laughs> but now, are you easily shocked? No. Good. Um, <laughs> what are you going to do? No, no, nothing, nothing, Don't nothing. Don't you dare. No, no. <laughs> Would I? No, nothing bad, nothing bad. Okay. Uh, what it is is, because um, you, you must know there are lots of Golden Girl uh, fan sites out there and B. Arthur fan sites. They just love you. They love you. Uh, there's a guest book. <laughs> now, there's this man, Steve Hurley, right? He's slightly odd, Steve. <laughs> uh, he has a shrine to you. Oh, come on. No, he does. He's a shrine to you. He you know, I have a shrine to be in my bedroom. Sometimes I just... Ooh, that, ooh. Uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway, I love the Golden Girls, and you better too, or else. And then he just says, P.S. My cousin and I have sex. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I mean, that's... That, yes. Yeah, I, good fan base, This is my one of my fans, yes. yes. OK. Anyway, so there's another guy here. We're, we were reading all of these, um, and... This guy, uh, 
He's... Where is it? I love this site. B. Arthur's a TV goddess. Keep up the good work. Come and check out my site. He's got his own website, this man, right? So we thought, oh, that's good. It'll be more about B. Arthur, because we're researching Yes. It. Imagine our surprise. <laughs> we clicked on it, and it's nothing to do with you. It's nothing to do with anything I've ever heard of. It's a site called Rev Me Up. He's obviously having sex with his cousin. <laughs> he could be. This man, basically, it's a place to find stories about revving and, and pushing pedals. They like it. It excites them, pushing pedals. <laughs> no, I have to say, it is the weirdest thing we ever got. But there's loads of these. Once you get into it, there's a whole ring of these pedal pumpers. They call themselves pedal pumpers. <laughs> and look, there's pictures. This is so weird. There's pictures here. That's what they like. Oh, <laughs> right, right, come on. You really got that on the... We so didn't... We have not made this up. <laughs> you can go to this site. It's Rev It Up, Rev Man's, Rev Man's site. <laughs> Are you getting excited, B? Is it doing it? I'm reminded of... I'm sure she's not. Remember Fergie? When she was getting her toes <laughs> set a number of years ago? I mean, that wouldn't be her foot there, would it? <laughs> Do you know, it could. <laughs> no, but a very slim ankle. We think not. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to know more about this. And uh, Rev It Up man, right, Rev It Up man, his name's Jim. And we know nothing about it, so uh, we emailed him. And actually, normally, sometimes what we do is we sort of, like, pretend that we're just calling people, you know, to... to... Are you going to phone him? Yes. <laughs> I haven't spoken to him myself, but I'm told he's almost evangelical about the foot pumping. <laughs> he knows it's a TV show. He wants to tell us why it's so great. <laughs> and we want to know, don't we? <laughs> so, here we go. Uh, uh, <laughs> it is... I just... You know, most perversions, you're kind of on... No, I said perversion. It's not bad. It's just an interest. But... Uh, <laughs> Most of them you can sort of understand. I so can't understand this. Thank you for calling Technology Media Group. Oh, uh, hello? Yes? C could I speak to Jim, please? Sure. May I tell him calling? Graham Norton. <laughs> He's got a little pedal under the desk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello? I, pay, I just paid you, Jim, so you can, can you hang on a second? All the time in the world. Shall we see? I know. Are you okay there? You're fine. I can't believe some old pedal pushing purr. <laughs> is keeping us waiting. <laughs> Ooh, do you have another joke about blowjobs, you can tell us? <laughs> you are Hello. naughty. Oh, no, they're very funny jokes, and you tell them very well. Hello. Oh, oh, is that you, Jim? Yes, it is. It's Jim! <laughs> you a serious teacher. Jim, 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 we're so happy to talk to you. We saw, we saw your website, and I found it, well, sort of intriguing. I, I don't quite understand it. I mean, what, how, how exactly does it work with the, you, are you excited pushing the pedal? <laughs> uh, that's a lot of it. Um, watching other guys do it as well. Um. <laughs> so watching people accelerate or, or break gives, gives you pleasure. Oh, definitely. Okay. And now, because pressing pedals does excite you, I mean, does it make driving very difficult for you? Um, it certainly makes it fun. I have to say, I don't drive myself, but maybe I should. Um, I, I have got slightly aroused on a bus, but I think that was just the vibration. I don't know. <laughs> but now, I, the, the thing is, the site that we found your site on, right now, was um, a Golden Girl site. Right. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, do you, do you still watch The Golden Girls? Um, I watch it almost nightly. Do you? Yes. Because this is the... I'm sitting beside B. Arthur. Oh, for real. <laughs> is he pedaling very fast now? Yeah. yeah. B was just asking if that was making you pedal very fast now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, so I, uh, but we're just, we're just intrigued, because I've never heard of this before. And it just, uh, but you sound like, quite, you sound very nice. Like your average pedal push. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, well, listen, um, good luck to you with your, with your pedal pumping. Do you want to say good <laughs> goodbye to B? Uh, yes, I would. B, I wish you the best of luck. And, Thank um, you. Good talking to you. Thank you very much. Aww. Thank you. That's very sweet. Keep very sweet. pushing those pedals. <laughs> <laughs> Little dog Miles. Hello, Miles. Very good. Ooh, she looks quite cross, doesn't she? Uh, listen, listen. <clears throat> this is my first guest, Miss Arthur. She's quite a gal. But now it's time to meet my second guest. She's gorgeous. She's one lady who knows how to take care of herself. And when they met, it was murder. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephanie Powers. <laughs> Of course you oh, can. Good. One each. Oh, good. I oh, bought great. the pair. That's why I said you were very generous. <laughs> oh, dog's going to distract me now. He's very cute, but he's distracting. Oh, he's a So I'll, I'll let him go walk. He's got, oh, can I see him? Oh, you'll see him. Oh, he'll see him. Oh, no, he likes you. Oh, yes, you very much. Oh, baby. Oh, you're the best dog. Oh, the best dog. Okay, uh, bye, bye, bye. Good job, good job, good job. Bye. This is my friend to do that. Because then, then he goes mad. He has no idea what's happening now. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I did that. She has powers. <laughs> okay. He's going back there. Fly or free, stray little one. Slightly broken. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie Powers, welcome. Now, I, do, I was looking at calendars, and uh, there's a fantastic calendar that I think fans <laughs> must have made it of, of Heart to Heart. No, it's all very tasteful. You've got everything. Oh, oh, don't good, worry. Oh, good. <laughs> I was just wondering. No. Because there's a website on the internet that has a. Has a um, they put your head on somebody else's body naked. And I thought it would be a vast improvement, and unfortunately, it wasn't. Was, I was very disappointed. Was I thought it on that... Robert Wagner's body? No, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was close to it. <laughs> but no, this, is, this is all very tasteful, and it is you. I'm sure it's you. It's February, very romantic month, February, and sure enough, heart to heart, Mr. and Mrs. H, here you are, kissing away on the beach. It's very Aww. lovely. And then you follow the picture down. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What? I don't. What's he doing there? <laughs> is he a member of the crew? What? He must have oh, been. There's like, a person come on, there. There yeah. is a person there. Yes. And what is that over there? That's, That's a little hand. Oh, I hope it's a hand. I wonder what that must be a member of the crew. Just. You never know where they're going to pop up. No, very devoted to Juicy. Yeah. <laughs> but now, before Heart to Heart, which is why you know. We know you. Oh, that's certainly why I knew you so well because of watching that show. I wasn't aware that you you were sort of an almost like an action hero on television. 
you were April Dancer. Well, I, I actually, I, st I started my life as a dancer. I started my life as a dancer for Jerome Robbins uh, in oh. West Side Story. Oh, oh, I, I didn't was, uh, know that. Uh, I was 15 know that. years old, uh, and I was in uh, production at West Side Story. So I was a dancer who sang. Now I sing, because my leg can't go up that high anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not even for a few good friends. Not even for... <laughs> <laughs> but as but as the girl from Uncle, April yes. Dancer, and week after week would, would fight off Thrush, and uh, <laughs> her constant enemy was Thrush. Being, uh, it's, you, it's hell, you know. It's difficult to get rid of. I don't understand, but there you go. Um, and you, you, no, it was the name of a, some sort of evil superpower. It was. It was the. Uh, it was the bad guy. These were the someone in a someone in a boardroom was laughing really hard. <laughs> <laughs> it was the precursor to all of those uh, <laughs> those other movies. But you see this. You see this. Garth Marenghi. Here you are, the gun. You think you know this must be close to a feminist tract. This annual, and then you're in the I back. So. You're in the back. Mm. Recipes that the girl <laughs> might <laughs> make. <laughs> The way to Mark's heart is through poached egg surprise. <laughs> it was, in fact, you're absolutely right. You know, this was the first time that, uh, that a, um, an action-adventure one-hour television series had starred a woman. So I guess we did break ground a bit. And now, you mightn't get this, but there is an extraordinary bit of you in, in April Dancer uh, mingling with a British celebrity. Uh, there, there you are, spending time with David Meller. <laughs> No, I know, that's... It's such a cruel joke to do in front of the... You're both going, who? Who? What is it? Frighteningly, it's a politician who... It's true, he looks like that. <laughs> he looks like that. <laughs> we were ahead of our time. <laughs> you really were. <laughs> You've aged a lot better than him. That's what he said. <laughs> Now, we had Michael Lernard on the show a few weeks ago, and, she, you know, they keep doing those Walton reunion things. We like them, frankly. And uh, <laughs> would Heart to Heart get back together We again? did, actually. We did eight two-hour movies, which I think are on circulating somewhere in cyberspace, I think. Um, we had a reunion ten years almost to the day that we began shooting the first of the, of the eight two-hour movies, uh, television movies that we did. But it also happened that the day we were, start, we were to start filming was the day of the great big earthquake in Los Angeles. And I remember uh, I, we were, I was going to be picked up at 5.30 in the morning and uh, my dogs were <laughs> restless. So they got up and I looked at the clock. It was 4.28 or something. So I thought, well, it's too late. So I went to the bathroom. And uh, as I'm coming out of the bathroom, it hit. And uh, there I was standing in the door jam naked. <laughs> uh, and I kept thinking how many other people were standing in the door jam naked at that very moment. There were probably millions of them in Los Angeles. Were you in a door jam naked, B? Were you, were you standing in I was pumping pedals in the <laughs> Thinking about both the shows, I mean, we used to love it in the Golden Girls. We used to all gather round and have the cheesecake. Yes. And that, it was just such a lovely thing, yes. the areas yes. and the cheesecake. And then, of course, we remember you, Stephanie, with your brandy and Max making the midnight snacks for you. <laughs> so, oh, yes. uh, for no good reason, we thought we'd see what our lovely audience could cook. Do you see? Sorry, I just talked me food, oh, food, uh. and just, just to get them to cook. And uh, happily, many of them were more than happy to supply a hot crusty pie from my oven. So uh, <laughs> come with me now, B and Stephanie, as we play you like this. <laughs> <laughs> tart to tart. Do you see tart to tart? Gather in here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> well, actually, who brought this in? Who's Sarah Killeen with the sweet potatoes? Where's Sarah? Sarah, can I just say, we said you'd make something. <laughs> God made that. <laughs> you didn't make that at all. But still, uh, thank you for doing it. You're welcome. Did you buy them especially for the show, or did you have sweet potatoes at all? No, I bought them today. Fair enough. At least you invested some money in it. <laughs> uh, that's very good. Uh, this is this is stunning. This one. Uh, this this is a pierced body. Uh, 
The work that went oh, into God. that oh, is yeah. stunning. The loving detail. The pierced nipple there, pierced belly button, and some terrible pierced <laughs> nipple. Where's Robin? Where's Robin? Oh, there's Robin. Did I, have, have you tasted this yourself? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> Nor have I. Um, but it is quite literally a fantastic spread. Um, <laughs> it's, it's lovely. Um, this thing. Where is Shane Murray? Shane, lovely as it looks. <laughs> Is it exactly? <laughs> What's nice about it is that it's a nice combination of sweet and savoury. <laughs> it's dribbling. I know it's. It... <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, it is! Oh my God! I've got some on me. Ah! Ah! Get away! Get away! Horrific! Uh, right, but this is amazing. Look. Oh, at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You <laughs> look at that. It's best me to the Did you recognize what it is? Look, it's Betty's tongue. <laughs> it's <laughs> Betty's tongue made into a fondant fancy. And <laughs> Betty, see Betty down there. There's Betty, right? Now Betty has a strange appliance that she uses called Betty's Tongue. Uh, oh, I don't have one to show you, which is annoying, but it's got five speeds. That's all I'm telling you. <laughs> um, and this is it, Ben. Now, where's Mark? Oh. oh, Mark in the front row. Oh, sorry, model, very far away. <laughs> in your heavy boots. Uh, so, this, did you really make this yourself? Yes, I did. Really? Yes. My God, I mean, are, do you cook? Uh, yes, I do, but I actually, I actually took half a day off to do that. It took me five and a half hours. Oh. 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 It took five and a half hours. Oh. Which is ironic, because that's how long it takes Betty. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's good. Do you know what I mean? Can I just... Sarah? <laughs> see, frying potatoes, bit crap. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> it's all worth it in the end. Uh, we'll get three finalists. Oh, that's got to be finalists, really. In fairness, oh, that's yes. got to be finalist. Uh, that. <laughs> oh, all right, we'll make that a finalist then. There you go. Make that a finalist. And, uh, and that pierced cake is yeah. pretty stunning. Honestly, are you a trained nurse, Robin? It's <laughs> marvellous. The attention to detail is stunning. <laughs> uh, OK, OK, so. Uh, if you want, if you want Betty's tongue to win, yell now. <laughs> if you want Krusty Loaf to win, yell now. Yeah. Very close. Look at it again. <laughs> it's bread in a box, everyone. <laughs> Five and a half hours, bread in a box. <laughs> Or, uh, if you want the piercing, I've just noticed, the lovely hundreds and thousands pubic hair, it's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> that, really nice, that. Uh, if you want the pubic cake to win, yell now. <laughs> what do you reckon? What do you reckon? Pubic cake, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm yeah. sorry, Mark, five and a half hours, and still we're more amused by a nipple. <laughs> You, you, that, having eaten that, you now get to sample some proper cooking because we're sending you for the weekend to Paris, courtesy of our lovely friends at youtravel.co.uk. Well done to you. Congratulations. <laughs> Cheers, Robin. Bye-bye. Okay. Now, that's it. That's it. My thanks to my guest, the author, Stephanie Bowes. We haven't had time to talk about. No time to talk about Prince Andrew, who had his 40th birthday party this week. Oh, there was lots of lovely food there, and some of those little things on sticks. What do you call them? Oh, the Queen Mom and Margaret. <laughs> and, uh, no time to talk about the Duchess of York, who went up in the Millennium Eye. It's that big round thing people like to ride on. And she went up in the Millennium Eye. <laughs> Good night, everybody!